Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good Let's start straight away. Let's start straight away. Uh, our diesel supply was over here. And the drainage was over here. So let's come on to lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage is into a pre laryngeal, pre laryngeal group of lymph nodes B pre tracheal group of lymph nodes. C para tracheal lymph nodes D lower deep cervical group of lymph nodes <clears throat> lower deep cervical group of lymph nodes nerve supply Sir, second wala for se repeat ka dije. Second point. Pre tracheal, pre tracheal group of lymph nodes. Nerve supply. The nerves are made are mainly sympathetic. and vasoconstrictor in nature. They are derived from, they are derived from superior, middle, and Inferior cervical ganglion, cervical ganglion. Then hormones of thyroid gland. The follicular cells, the follicular cells secrete T3 bracket my try iodothyronine and T4 bracket my tetra iodine thyronine full stop the para follicular cells the para follicular cells or C cells, let us see. C cells secrete pyrocalcitonin, which regulates calcium metabolism which regulates calcium metabolism. Applied anatomy. Number one, enlargement of thyroid. Enlargement of thyroid is known as goiter. G O I T R E, known as goiter, and is due to 
lack of LACK, lack of iodine. Number two, hyperactivity of the thyroid gland. causes a clinical condition known as thyrotoxicosis, thyrotoxicosis, T-H-Y-R-O-T-O-X-I-C-O-S-I-S. Thyrotoxicosis or hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism. Number three, decreased activity, decreased activity of the thyroid gland. leads to a condition leads to a condition known as hypothyroidism hypothyroidism or myxedema myxedema m y x p -E d e m a myxedema इसी थायराइड ग्लैंड के सब्सटेंस में कैप्सूल में एक और एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड कॉल दे तो पैरा थायराइड ग्लैंड पैरा थायराइड ग्लैंड ये सिक्रेट करता है अ हार्मोन नोन एस पैरा हार्मोन पैरा हार्मोन लिख लीजिए इसके बारे में भी आपको एक छोटा सा डायग्राम मिल जाता पैरा थायराइड gland, parathyroid gland. These are two pairs, two pairs, bracket mid, superior and inferior, superior and inferior of small endocrine glands small endocrine glands full stop usually they lie on usually they lie on the posterior border of the thyroid gland posterior border of the thyroid gland within the false capsule aapko diagram bana dijiyega jo aapko bheja tha ya book se bana lijiyega ab dekh lijiye each parathyroid gland each parathyroid gland is oval is oval or lentiform in shape oval or lentiform in shape next it measures about six into four into two centimeters. That's a length, breadth, and height. And each gland. 
and each gland weighs about 50 milligram 50 milligram 50 milligram next slide the parathyroid secrete a hormone the para thyroid secrete a hormone known as para hormone which controls which controls the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus along with along with thyrocalcitonin then position of parathyroid position of parathyroid the gland lies very close to the anastomosis between superior thyroid artery and inferior thyroid artery next slide the superior parathyroid is more constant c o n s t a n t and usually lies in the middle of posterior border of the lobe of thyroid gland. The inferior thyroid gland is more variable in position and may lie within the thyroid capsule or behind and outside the thyroid capsule or within the substance of the thyroid gland. <coughs> Let's apply. It is richly supplied by R I C H L one. It is richly supplied by inferior thyroid artery and from the anastomosis between superior thyroid artery and 
inferior thyroid artery. No supply. Sympathetic nerves are derived from superior and middle cervical ganglia and are vasomotor in nature. Functions Parathyroid secretes a hormone known as parathormone which controls the metabolism of calcium and phosphorus along with thyrocalcitonin. Applied anatomy. Tumors of the parathyroid gland lead to lead to excessive secretion of parathormone leading to leading to hyper parathyroid thyroidism this leads to this leads to increased removal of calcium from bones making them weak w e a k making them weak and can be easily fractured and can be easily fractured number 2 increased calcium levels in the blood lead to increased urinary calcium levels which may cause which may cause formation of stones urinary 
the urinary tract. Number three, hyperparathyroidism leads to hypocalcemia. Hypocalcemia. which results in increased increased neuromuscular irritability neuromuscular irritability causing muscle spasms and convulsions c o n v u l s i o n s convulsions and this condition is known as this condition is known as tetany, T-E-T-A-N-Y. This is we quickly move on to thymus gland, thymus, T-H-Y-M, thymus gland, T-H-Y-M-U-S, thymus, you have heard the name of the thymus gland. It is situated in the mediastinum, rather the superior mediastinum, situated in the superior mediastinum. Very important, important gland, important gland, RII, Dothi Mar, it has been asked, thymus gland. is basically a lymphoid gland. students classify it along with endocrine glands. It is largely a lymphoid gland. It produces T lymphocytes. Thymus gland, Thymus, T-H-Y-M-U-S, thymus gland. It is an important lymphoid organ. Present in the superior mediastinum. Present in the superior mediastinum. Full stop. It is well developed at birth. It is well developed at birth. Full stop. It continues to grow up to puberty. It continues to grow up to puberty. And after that, undergoes atrophy, and is replaced by fat. Next paragraph. The thymus is a bilobed structure 
which has two lobes. It is a bi-lobe structure made up of made up of two pyramidal lobes of unequal size of unequal size which are connected to each other by areolar tissue areolar tissue next slide weight at birth weight at birth is about 10 to 15 grams comma at puberty 30 to 40 grams and only 10 grams in adulthood e a d u l t h o o d adulthood next slide it lies on the pericardium it lies on the pericardium comma the great vessels of mediastinum and the trachea. And the trachea. Blood supply. Thymic branches of thymic, T-H-Y-M-I-C, thymic branches of internal thoracic artery and inferior thyroid artery. Next, venous drainage, venous drainage is into, is into a left ratio Cephalic vein, left brachiocephalic vein, B, internal thoracic vein, C, inferior thyroid vein, inferior thyroid vein, nerve supply. The capsule is supplied by phrenic nerve. Full stop. Phrenic nerve. Vasomotor nerves are derived from vasomotor nerves are derived from stellate ganglion stellate ganglion functions Functions, functions of the thymus gland. Number one, 
thymus controls lymphopoiesis thymus controls lymphopoiesis and maintains and maintains an effective pool of circulating lymphocytes which can react to antigenic stimuli it which can react to antigenic stimuli number 2 it controls the development of it controls the development of peripheral lymphoid tissue number 3 the cortical the cortical lymphocytes of the thymus arise from stem cells of bone marrow full stop full stop most of the t lymphocytes most of the t lymphocytes bracket me 95% 95% have a short span of life span short span of life of 3 to 5 days and do not move out of the organ also they are destroyed within the thymus gland by phagocytes by phagocytes next slide the remaining 5% of lymphocytes have a long life of 90 days or more 90 days or more first up they move out the thymus to join the circulating pool of lymphocytes to so stop these lymphocytes are uncommitted these lymphocytes are 
uncommitted selves but immunologically competent immunologically competent so so they can react to they can react to any unfamiliar unfamiliar new antigen full stop next the medul the medullary epithelial cells the medullary epithelial cells of thymus are thought to secrete a lymphopoietin lymphopoietin which stimulates which stimulates lymphocyte production in the cortex of thymus gland and in peripheral and in peripheral lymphoid organs b the competence inducing factor c o m p e t e n c e the competence inducing factor which may be responsible for which may be responsible for making lymphocytes competent to react to to react to antigenic stimuli then apply the that number 1 involution of the thymus i n v o l u t i o x involution of the thymus is enhanced by hypertrophy of adrenal cortex or by injections of or by injections of cortisone or androgenic hormones androgenic hormones number 2 tumors of thymus or 
थाइमिक हाइपरप्लेजिया और थाइमिक हाइपरप्लेजिया is often often o f t e n is often associated with a condition known as myasthenia gravis capital m y a s एच ई एन आई ग्राविस जी आर ए वी आई एस माई स्टैंड फॉर मसल एस्टीनियम मीन्स वीकनेस ग्राविस मीन्स बहुत ज्यादा विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय which is characterized by excessive tiredness excessive fatigability fatigability f a t i g u a P I L I T forgive fatigability of voluntary muscles. Number four, thymic tumors. Thymic tumors may press on the trachea. comma esophagus or large veins of the neck causing veins and nerves veins and nerves causing hoarseness of voice h o a r s e n e s s hoarseness of voice comma cough comma dysphagia p y s p h a G I A dysphagia and cyanosis. C Y A N O S I S cyanosis. Thank you. We we finish for today, and we'll continue tomorrow. आपको एक डायग्राम भेजूंगा मैं कल कल के लिए वी टेक अप एक्स्ट्रा ऑक्यूलर मसल्स एंड इफ टाइम परमिट्स लेक्रामेट्री एपरेटर्स लेक्रामेशन होता है टीएस का फॉलो उसका जो पूरा एपरेटर्स वी टेक अप दैट टूमो टूमोरो अगेन वी मीट एट 132 to 30 right chill we we'll take take leave meri awaaz aa rahi thi aap logo ko yes ji sir okay then chaliye aaj aaj ka class yahi tak karenge and then we stop